And Solano County is among those taking steps to try and prevent any fires from starting over these next few windy days. Case Area 3's Leanne Daniers spoke with county officials about what they're doing right now and the big message they want to get to residents. Fire danger is high at Rockville Hills Regional Park. Dry and windy conditions prompted officials to close the park and two others, Spyglass Open Space and Rolling Hills Open Space, this weekend due to the concerning conditions. Rockville Hills Regional Park is very, very widespread. There's a lot of nicks and crannies and canyons. We also want to be safe. You know, we don't want any kind of incidents to happen. Bill Way is a spokesperson for the city of Fairfield. With parts of Northern California under a red flag warning due to the wind and some areas of the county subject to possible power shutoffs by PG&E, Way says the city of Fairfield is doing what it can to keep neighbors informed. We just want to make sure that residents are aware and they're prepared. We want them outage ready. The wind coupled with dry conditions throughout Solano County has first responders on edge. In response, the Office of Emergency Services opened two resource centers for impacted customers. They're reminding everyone to sign up for emergency notifications through alertsolano.com. Fairfield Fire Marshal Stephen Conti says communication is key. Extremely important. Please, these warnings can never be uh, highlighted enough that the danger is real. Unfortunately, we've had past history of tragic events and just everybody, please pay attention to the messages that come out. All residents, including those outside of the planned PG&E outages, are being asked to be ready for their power to go out during this wind event. We need everyone to please be aware and if there's any down power lines to call 911 immediately and also if there's any down trees to call the Fairfield Public Works. Uh, across Solano County, officials are reminding folks to make sure that they are signed up for the Alert Solano notification system and to know their evacuation zone should it be needed in the case of an emergency. Really just reiterating the need to keep an eye out for updates coming in. In Solano County, Leanne Denier, KCR 8, 3 News. And PG&E says that they will inform you ahead of time if your power is going to be shut off.